I am coming to you from our little cottage bedroom today and I'm really excited to finally be kind of restyling and re-cozying everything up for the autumn months ahead. I'm not going fully in, I know we're still kind of in summer but it's definitely approaching quickly and so I wanted to add a few cosier accessories in the kind of throws, cushions, just to nod to the chillier months ahead. Speaking of cosy, Stormy literally will not leave my side at the moment. I think she maybe is coming on heat again for her second cycle and we haven't yet had her neutered. Is it neutered or spayed? Not sure for a girl dog, but we are planning on having that done. Hopefully soon we need to talk to the vet about it. But yeah, she won't leave my side. So if you see her in today's cottage diaries, just follow me around then you know that that's why. Look, she cannot get enough. Mwah. <laughs> I'm gonna be using lots of different things around the house, some of which are new and some are older. I will leave anything that's still available linked down below, including things like our headboard, our curtains, TV, all of those things. And we'll talk you through things a little bit later as well. <laughs> If you've watched my channel before I'm sure you will know how obsessed with our sky glass that we have in our bedroom we are and I'm very excited today to be working with Sky on their latest launch Sky Live which I cannot wait to tell you guys more about. If you haven't yet heard of Sky Live, it's a new interactive camera exclusively for Sky Glass, which we are lucky enough to have in the cottage and we've been using it and enjoying it so I thought I'd tell you more about it. So the really good thing about Sky Live is that you basically plug it in and then everything is there already on your Sky Glass TV, which is so handy if you're not very technically advanced like myself. And there are actually four main features to Sky Live. There's chat, which means that you can zoom with your friends and family on any of their devices, whether it's their phone, their tablet, their laptop or their Sky Glass. There's the play feature, which means that you can play games with friends and family. We have tested this out and it's a lot of fun and something that we're definitely looking forward to doing over Christmas and birthdays and different gatherings with friends and family. Sky Live also has a feature workout, which basically brings the home gym to your Sky Glass and to the big screen, which is amazing. The Sky Live camera actually has body tracking, which makes it much easier to count your reps and also tell you if your form is correct in each of the exercises. If you're anything like me and you struggle with getting the form and posture and stuff right, this is really really handy and does make a big difference. And then my favourite feature that I think we'll be using a lot is the watch together feature. Basically, watch together means that you can now have movie nights with your friends and family, with them being in their home, you being in yours, and you can all watch the same film or TV show together. You can see each other's reactions, you can laugh together, cry together, gossip together about your favourite characters, whether it's a reality series that you and your friends watch or yours and your family's favourite film, you can now watch something together from the comfort of your own home, which I am really, really looking forward to doing. And on that note, we are actually going to be watching a film tonight with Mikey's parents because it's been Mikey's birthday a couple of days ago and we didn't get to see his parents to celebrate. So we are going to be doing that. We're going to watch a film together and I will make sure I show you everything as and when we do. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's 
following me in updating the bedroom and changing things slightly i actually ordered this plug-in wall light from H&M Home which I absolutely love. It's got a really nice warm wooden base and then a kind of brass accent with the white shade as well as you can see which matches perfectly with our bedside lamp and some of the other colours in this room as well with the lighter bedding and the linen curtains and Roman blind and it's really handy because obviously you don't have to have loads of wiring done so maybe if you at home have somewhere you'd like a bedside lamp or just a wall light, maybe by the sofa or in a reading nook, it's a really good option because all you need to have is a plug socket or somewhere with access to an extension lead like I have here. And because of the style of the light fitting as well, the cord is fully hidden by the headboard. So I think with the headboard, it's a really good idea to actually have plug-in wall lights because you can completely hide them. So I'm really glad they added that in and I feel like it gives the room a really nice contemporary touch rather than feeling too kind of country cottage even though that is what we have. It's nice to have some things that feel a little bit more modern and up to date. Good evening everyone. Yeah. We are, God it's so sunny. I know. Nice to have a sunny evening Which for once. It's so grey. Yeah, really, really grey. So it's come out for my birthday. The sun well, has come out for your birthday. Belated birthday. <laughs> we are actually just about to sit down and watch a film with Mikey's parents. I think we're going to watch Elvis, aren't we? Yeah, we've never seen it. We haven't seen it. I think they watched it in the cinema, but we haven't seen it. So we thought it would be nice to watch that for Mikey's birthday. And then afterwards, we're going to zoom with them. So I thought I would show you when we're actually on the film, how it kind of all looks. I've obviously walked you through how Skylive works already, but I thought I could show you how it looks on the screen. Okay, so just to show you guys watch together, this is how it looks on the screen so you have we're watching Elvis like I said we're about halfway through and then there uh, is me and Mikey and then there is Mikey's parents say hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah we're just gonna finish the film and then we're gonna zoom <laughs>
I'm just out of the bath and I've put all my skincare products on, so sorry if I'm looking a little bit worse for wear, but I'm feeling very fresh after what's been actually a very stressful day and I've kind of made a bit of a pact with myself to not talk too much about day-to-day -day issues because I get worried that they will seem kind of trivial to a lot of people but then I know everything's relative and people have told me before that kind of sharing how I'm feeling really helps and sharing day-to-day -day struggles to know that life isn't always diamonds and rosé. Anyone who watches Real Housewives will get that one. But today's been a bit of a manic one so after kind of unpacking that food shop and making a nice lunch I had a completely stressful day where my hard drive that has all of my vlog footage, all of my design work for different clients, loads of stuff that's in progress, it basically completely shut down which was very stressful and also upsetting because obviously a lot of hard work went into all of that stuff which I haven't yet shared with you like different vlogs so I think I had two vlogs on there maybe three that weren't uploaded which now I'm fairly certain I've completely lost I am hoping that they can be recovered but I'll get onto that in a second but yeah basically just really frustrating and that's coming off the back of a very bad cold that I've had we've been so busy recently and I've been working all hours of the day like honestly some days I've kind of been working from maybe 6 a.m until 11 12 p.m a.m so literally round the clock and then trying to kind of fit in some exercising and also not compromising on social activities as well so I've still been kind of going to lots of things with friends and with work so yeah I'm definitely going to try and calm down because my physical health has actually been affected now because of it so that's one thing and then my hard drive obviously crashed having been ill for the last couple of days and having loads to catch up on today which was really stressful as I had so many work deadlines with design, with content for brands, which yeah was all a bit stressful, but I've dropped it to a repair person and I'm keeping everything crossed that they can fix it. They did call this afternoon to say that they'd recovered maybe 20 or 30% of the files already and they're gonna leave it overnight. So I'm really hoping I get a call with some good news. So please keep your fingers crossed from me. But I also just wanna apologize for not uploading my vlog on Wednesday because that footage was obviously already on my hard drive edited and that was from our time in Cologne and I potentially have lost that now but if not you will see it but if I've lost it I'm sorry that I didn't get a vlog uploaded because I am trying to be good and be more consistent with everything but sometimes it's tricky when things are obviously outside of your control. Also, with the recipe I cooked earlier, that was very, very delicious, if I say so myself. It would have been really good with maybe some fish or chicken, some kind of meat, but I don't eat meat myself. Ziggy, sorry, Ziggy is huffing and puffing to go outside, which I will let him out as soon as I finish this. But yeah, I don't eat meat myself, but I think it would be very good as a side salad but obviously with the tuna in there it kind of works perfectly as a lunch or a dinner in the summer or any time of year really. I will share that recipe on my blog as well so if you want to see that please do look in the description box down below. And I am now going to make some vegetarian sausages and mash, but for the mash I'm going to use some sweet potato and some different vegetables, boil it, add a small knob of butter, some seasoning and a nice onion gravy, which I'm really looking forward to and just having a nice early night. So I will show you how that's looking, but I'm going to round off this episode of The Cottage Diaries and I really hope you enjoyed watching and looking forward to catching up with you next time. Mm -hmm.